This playthrough is rated E10+. Chapter 10, Barrel's Maze. Thanks. I've had enough of your treats. Aw, Jack, we're just getting started. Our biggest trick is yet to come. You're gonna get so lost. And after what we did to the mayor's house, I... Oops! Wasn't supposed to tell you that. I'll catch you later, Jack. Well, this is gonna be a barrel of fun. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge, HD Edition. In the last episode, we found ourselves going through the pumpkin patch and answered some quizzes, but mainly the pumpkin patch. Found the pumpkin, or the uh, behemoth, and, uh, oh, hey, buddy. But anyway, we have to get through the uh, chase after the lock, shock, and barrel, so. It can move the vine if I hit this pumpkin. Oh, Robert! Oh, that's an interesting way of doing it. But anyway, let's take a look at the map really quick, too, while we're here. See what it says. Make your way through Barrel's Maze to reach the big pumpkin head. Alright. Well, I mean, we've got a map, right? So it should be easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, we shall see. The, the kids are tricksy, so... Now it's like we have quite a few. Okay, so okay. Sometimes with the camera angle, almost you almost couldn't tell if I could walk past that or not. Yeah, we got another one there. I assume that opens up that one over there, the to the left of us. Let's see what else is there? Oh, there's a find there. Explosive pumpkins. I guess I probably had to throw these pu these things at the at the pumpkins to open it up. All right, let's see which uh, let's see which uh, vine this opens. We have probably I assume the one closest to us, but I guess there's not a timer, so that gives us an explosive barrel. Which I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be using it on, so... Oh, oh. Whoops. Oh, never mind, I could just... Wait, can I burn that? Probably not. Ah, nah, it doesn't look like it. Usually you can kind of tell what you can burn, it's usually pretty obvious, so... Okay, that was just there for pumpkin coins. Nothing down there, it doesn't look like. Yeah, I probably have to use those uh, exclusive pumpkins to hit that over there. I wonder if I can do it from here. Nope. Coal robber. Coal robber. Can I hit it from here? Uh oh, looks like we set up the monsters. Uh, more uh, cyclopses or behemoths or whatever, but. Oh! Ow. Ow. You know, Jack could get a uh, get. I mean, we've seen him before, but it doesn't take much to get rid of his. Uh... Ah, come on! Lost, lost out on those coins. Whoops! I was gonna try to dodge, but. Uh... Yeah, I hate losing out all those uh, precious, precious coins. Ah, get, keep, get back here, ghost. Don't make me call the Ghostbusters on you. Even though they're different franchises, but still. With the way cor corporatization goes to IPs, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future someone ends up owning both of them together, you know what I mean? Because why not, right? 
No more making up original ideas. Just milking IPs for all they're worth. Ow. Yeah, I should have known that was gonna happen. I'd rather, uh... Ugh, come on. I hate this. <laughs> I hate the ghost. They're wasting my time. Ooh, blue soul, finally. Or a blue orb or whatever. Ah, uh, and I can't hit them with that. I'm actually not that angry. It's just, uh, it's just funny to get a little over, over, and over, over, uh, aggressive, you know, just for fun. Pretty straightforward. Nothing complicated. All right. What the? It's like a guillotine. Ah, I feel bad. That'd be all you have to do in life is just having your head get cut off all the time. Well, don't worry. You'll get ahead eventually. Was there a place I could drop off to get a? Have a drop down there. I also think it's better to hit these things than to, uh, because um, if you grab them and, and throw them, you lose out on all these uh, coins. Wow. Good to know. Should have kind of figured that out. Real. Oh, right. Can't wrangle. Wait, can you? Is that what you're supposed to do? Grab one of these and just run through the whole area? That can't be right. Actually, let me go over there first before I... That that can't be... That can't be the way you solve that. That's no way. This game is not complicated enough for that. This game is pretty straightforward. And there was a place I could grab to get over there, so... With the, the soul grabber, so... Or soul robber, whatever. Oh, there's another. <clears throat> well, let's get grab it. Why not? It doesn't take that long to get to this place anyway. Impression. Yeah, just keep doing the squirrel technique. Uh, nothing, we have enough <coughs> money to get our coins to get a uh, upgraded healing if I wanted to. I'm still wondering if I should actually do that, though. You know? Wait. Unless I can drop down from somewhere. Oh, you drop down from... Okay, drop down from... Oh, just the way, the way it looked, it looked like it... Okay, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Now are the guys gonna reset? Yep. Of course they are. Wait, did I grab them? Or I guess I did. There's gotta be a faster way to like get those ghosts. I don't know, it just seems like there should be, you know. I mean, at least to get those coins again, I guess. Guess you have to do a full combo for that. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy now with the uh, upgraded uh, soul rubber. There you go, gotcha. Ow. Oh, did I get the uh, ghost too? Nice. Ah, no, I didn't. 
So far, there, has there really been a reason to use a Pumpkin King? Other than the, uh, the other than optional stuff? Then again, I think Soul Robber is supposed to be meant to be your main mode of attack in this game. The other options of Jack are just supposed to be optional. Which makes sense. It's not like uh, we're not going to play Devil May Cry uh, Nightmare Before Christmas where Jack has like multiple forms. He can combo switch in between all of them to do crazy combos. Although that would be pretty crazy if you could do something like that. I'd almost be impressed. Because, I mean, the people who did Devil May Cry worked on this. Not all of them. Just some of them. Uh, and there's the broken bridge. Nope. Can't hit that. All right, that's it for uh, Chapter 10, Barrel's Maze. That wasn't really much of a maze. Clear time. Combo. Damage. Exclamation marks count. Yeah, yeah, that's probably Nightmare C. Rank. Excellent. That'll be. Soul bonus. All right. Yeah, that wasn't really much of a maze, really, to tell you the truth. I could have unlocked Oogie as a figurine. Dang it. All right, well, anyway. All right, ba Barrel's Maze was easily beaten, but is there more to this ba uh, maze? What does the Dimwin and Barrel have to offer us as a as a terms of a, of a of as an encounter? We'll find out next time in the next episode of uh, 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 Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge HD Edition. I don't know why I forgot the name really quick. I was uh, Tim Burton's. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.